A M no A Z Zama talk. AMZ Seller Real Talk. AM, yeah, okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to AMZ <laughs> Seller Real Talk. You, well, another episode here on this uh, lovely, lovely podcast. On we're, It's Friday today. I'm not going to tell you what day it is because that would you place when we're recording Friday. this. Yeah, but there's no date involved. Yeah, but she told yeah. us. My so name is right. Curtis Johnson. Um, I'm the president of Managed by Sats. And then uh, next to me is my cohort, uh, Danan slash Justin Coleman depending on how you know him. Yep. He goes by many names. And um, he's usually, well, you know, I'm usually accompanied by his much better half. Mm -hmm. my, much better half. My better three quarters yeah. to <laughs> seven sixteenths. So, um, yeah, so their daughter, six months old, uh, Lorelai, is cutting teeth at the moment. So, yep. in other words, that means both Lorelai and Jade are not sleeping That's right. currently. So, yep. so we wouldn't have a shell of a person right here next to me. <laughs> we figured we'd go with Dana in today. Yep. Um, yeah, yeah, that's that's a different difficult time period. I remember that six months ago. Yeah, 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 six months ago. You remember six months ago? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty I, good. I try not to. <laughs> um, and we are joined by uh, someone we we've had the pleasure of talking to her for the last like ten minutes, and yeah. I feel just happier in general. Yeah. So that's a good sign. I, uh, she's already resolved a, <laughs> a, a childhood child pro problem, problem for my not six your months child. No, no. But my ch my child's your child's childhood, childhood. yeah, yeah. Uh, and this is uh, Ashley Armstrong <laughs> she is known as the hidden rules expert which is brilliant and um, we'll get into all of kind of like everything that you do and um, all of that but first off we wanted to just say hi and you know kind of have you get a chance to tell us a little bit about yourself and all that good stuff oh my gosh hey guys hi. well thanks so much for having me much yeah. appreciated I can always talk about mother crap all day long, obviously. Yeah, mother. I can talk about <laughs> oh, kid crap all there. day <laughs> right now, but. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I'm just super excited to be, you know, here and part of everything that you guys are doing. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah. You know, it's just a wealth of knowledge when you, I, you, when you guys are constantly bringing people from different aspects of the industry together so yeah. we can just yeah. educate everyone else who's just trying to come up and get going. I just think it's absolutely brilliant. So cool. I'm super honored to be here. So thank well, you so much. We're, we're very happy to have, to have you. you. Yeah. Glad, happy. Good. Glad, happy. Sorry, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I guess you want to know a little bit about me. Yeah. yeah. Really in a nutshell, I'm Ashley Armstrong, the e-commerce hidden rules expert, and I help established product companies spend millions of dollars of leaving on the table by leveraging the power of Amazon. Cool. In a nutshell, for the most part, yeah. Awesome. So and I've a just mother. had a really amazing decade of building a seven-figure business myself and then um, being a partner with Dan Hollings for the last six years and helping grow his community and doing tons of training, software tools. It's been an absolute pleasure. And uh, now I, that I'm on my own, I've decided to switch from consulting and working in different capacities into uh, focusing on women in e-commerce and providing them a mentorship support cool. community. And that's really where like my heart lies as i told you before i have yeah. a 1500 mothers support community in cabo san lucas mexico where i was living before yeah i've been running it for nine years wow. and it's like you can't live there unless you're part of my community i'm like you know what like <laughs> this is amazing women in e-commerce keep telling me over and over again you know like they don't really see someone like themselves in a lot of cases sure yeah online and whatnot. i don't know why you would say that this podcast again, so with it. two dudes yeah i know i can't imagine <laughs> why that would be <laughs> a feeling hey full disclosure i do not run the amazon my wife right. is your, your wife does. candidate that's yeah. exactly right i, I turned right. over the amazon running like eight years ago turned her, over so. she basically started the damn thing, i start i started yeah right. okay started fine, fine fine yeah, fine whatever sorry actually i apologize <laughs> Anyhow, so my wife is your perfect candidate because she actually is the one that runs the e-commerce. Like, I am, I am, I am the person that goes blathering out to everyone, talking to people unorganizedly, and then completely yeah. Yeah. unorganized. Yeah. Like, babe, babe, this person they have ice cubes. Like, all right, is that a, like, that isn't idea? that a great product idea? She's like. <laughs> My fridge makes ice cubes, you know. Uh. So she uh, she is far more organized, much more put together than I am. And you just yeah. described all women. Yeah, much more I organized. Did. I also just mm. just, just described all men. So yeah. <laughs> all right. Anyhow, I'm not saying nothing. No, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I literally just said nothing. So please tell us more. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh uh, man! Well, what would you like to know? I how did so you kind of get? About. I mean, you could be here forever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how did you kind of get into this space? 
I guess, would mm. be a starting point. Yeah, that's a really great question. Um, really, at the end of the day, I am a serial entrepreneur. Sorry, excuse me. It's okay. And, Construction you know, dust. Um, I throughout my whole life, I was like, even from the age of like, you know, four and six, creating like ashtrays out of clay that I'd find at the beach and sell them for 25 cents. Like, oh, it's just man. kind of like been in me and yeah. I can never get rid of it no matter how I yeah. try, I guess you could say. So when I was living in Mexico, um, you know, you can't really work there. There's not too much you can do. And so, you know, I was always creating something from home, right. being, selling from home. So I was actually growing my own bacteria. Mm -hmm. and creating probiotic drinks cool where, like this is way before whole foods even knew the damn thing existed that's awesome. what i tell you <laughs> yeah 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 so i was cultivating my own bacteria and creating these really amazing probiotic drinks and selling them all over town and then so i spent like a year trying to figure out how to manufacture that so i can do it on like obviously a larger scale because yeah. mm -hmm. it was making money but mm -hmm. it wasn't like changing my family's life so i'm like how the hell do i do this like right. on a grander scheme yeah and everywhere i went i was like 150 grand 150 grand and i was just like oh my god this is ridiculous yeah um, and so in the process of doing that, I was also a young mother. And so I had this really weird thing of wanting to make sure that I leave something for my children in case I do not be here the next day. So I, I wrote too. and published six children's books about my children, for wow, my children, of family wow. life lessons, like bullies and how to be an entrepreneur and, you know, things of that nature. So in case I did end up dying one day that I leave them there. So yeah. in this process of like trying to manufacture a product, and then publishing and writing six children's books, which I got two bestsellers, which is amazing. Jeez. I realized like, oh shit, like Amazon is like, that's the place to be. Like, yeah. oh my God, like this is super cool. Yeah. And then I of course got into introduced to like the very first like online Amazon training program, which was like nine years ago, 10 yeah. years ago or whatever. And, um, and from there, it was just been like right through the roof. So like that's kind of how it got started. Children's books and probiotic drinks. <laughs> nice. And is there kombucha in there? And anywhere by chance well, com i did do kombucha yeah. it's a whole different thing yeah. um it's more of a yeast base rather than a probiotic base or prebiotic probiotic base but uh yeah it's yeah. uh it's amazing what mother nature provides you if you just do a little bit of elbow grease and work yeah, yeah. but luckily i had a, i had a maid who like managed most of my crap for me because it's a lot of work to oh grow i can't your imagine yeah, <laughs> i can't sure. even imagine in the butt yeah. um so, and so you know usually if bacteria starts growing around me i kill it but you you harbored it and that's great. Only the good stuff though. There is Only the no good filter. Stuff. Whatever's undoing. proven. No filter of any kind. That 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 <laughs> was with the filter. Bring it on. Yeah, that was with the filter. Oh god. Um, no, so that's cool. amazing. So you kind of came in with a vengeance. You exploded onto the scene a bit then. So how did you then kind of where did that progress to? How did you find yourself where you are now? You know, like anything else, we just have different chapters in our lives. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm just not one to sit down and like do nothing really at yeah. the end of the day. I, I'm like, I'm hard, fast worker. It's like, if you're not going to run as fast as me, get out of my goddamn way. Yeah, right. really, I manage those things. And I'm also like a, an ex-pro athlete as well. I grew up with an Olympic background. My father, everyone in my family are pro athletes one way wow. or the other. And so what I have found and what I've actually spoken about and a lot of like um, TV and everything that I've been doing recently is the correlation between entrepreneurs and athletes and okay. or musicians. Yeah. I have because definitely recognized an, that. Right? But yeah. it's like we have to like do it again and again, fall on our face, get hurt, yeah. go to the you know hospital in an ambulance, come back again, do it again. Mm -hmm. Or if you're a musician, it's like play again, play again, yeah, play yeah, again, play yeah. again. So we get trained, even if you were not an, ad, an athlete as an adult, but if you did enough sports or whatnot as a child, you get really, really ingrained with the concept of like in my space, it's detecting and correcting. Yeah. You mm -hmm. got to like do something and you got to think back. You got to take yourself out of your own body. You got to like look back down. Where was my elbow? Where was my hand? Where was yeah. the yeah. weight? Where was 100%. I front? Was I back? You know, like you have to like literally D and C yourself. Yeah. And you have to like hold yourself accountable. Yeah. And then you're like, okay, crap. All right. So this is what I did. This is the result I got. Do I like that result? No. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. What can I do better or different to get a different result? I mean, just kind of keep split testing yourself. Almost, yeah, right? yeah. Cool. So I think that, well, not, I think I know for a fact that that background and that perseverance and that even in your, if you're in pain, you keep pushing forward, you just keep pushing through because the outcome of pushing through, it's like, it's worth its weight in gold. You for know sure. what I mean? And uh, that's just really helped with the entrepreneurial aspect. Well, and, part, and this so. is one thing that I'm looking at this going, you're, it's almost not fair. You know, like you have seemingly such 
kind of like perspective to go into any space. Like it's almost not fair for the men. Like it seems like the women are gonna get such a That's all right. leg up with your group. No, but I'm just saying that because it sounds like your what you've put yourself through, what you've done in life already is such an amazing thing that anyone would learn a massive amount from kind of like, like what you're saying, these hidden rules. I, I just right. think that, you know, I, I definitely am very interested to see kind of like a lot more of what you what you do on with with your group because it sounds like oh thank you yeah it sounds like what you bring to the table is unreal yeah Aww, and let's I be, appreciate that let's be honest if 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 there weren't groups like yours and never mind let's just <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm just you saying, haven't it, had a lot of sleep though last night from what <laughs> I recall either a couple nights yeah yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I was just gonna say that if there weren't women in the men, in the world to temper the men then earth would simply be a cinder <laughs> and uh, so I fully support everything that you're doing because I know that in my own case without my mm. wife to help guide and run me literally run me then uh -huh. then like any money, that wasn't allocated for like survival would go into like my Land Rover or my motorcycle mm. or, or camping gear or whatever, you know? So, yeah. and, and the same, so the same went with business. Like I turned all finances over to her and now it's like, babe, you know, I really need this thing. Okay. How much is it? Uh, $7,000. Like, absolutely not. Yeah. Not go happening. make the money if you want it. You can buy it yourself. I'm like, but, but, but I don't, <laughs> All right, love you. <laughs> you know, so Aww, I so, love that. Yeah, so yeah. then, uh, jumping back to kind of, I guess, what you're what you're working on now. So, I guess, who is the kind of person that you find yourself working with, characteristics wise? Uh, really, at the end of the day, right now, because I have pivoted a bit, as I mentioned beforehand, mm -hmm. I really am focusing on, on the female entrepreneur, the yeah. woman who is online in e-commerce, and not necessarily just Amazon. It's you know, eBay, Etsy, Shopify. Just the fact that you're online. You're selling a product and then, you know, of course, whether you have dependents or you have children or no one at all at home, but just someone who understands like the emotional, the periods, the, the yeah. life yeah. cycles, the business, and just someone you can talk to like openly and honestly. So really at the end of the day, I'm usually working with women who have been up and going for some time. They've seen some results and they're just looking for like, I need someone to talk to yeah. at the end yeah. of the day. I'm making some money. This is working. I've proven it. Now I need to like get organized. Now I need to create a brand. Now yes. I need to like move it to the next level. And I just need someone in my corner. You know yeah. what I mean? Like at the end of the day, like I'm the best goddamn person you can have in your corner. Cause I tell awesome. you, you're not going to get away with anything. If you want to awesome. hit a goal, I'm going to make sure you get a damn goal <laughs> that... because I'm doing it all the damn time. And I just love pushing people. Yeah. yeah past their limits because when you stretch it's scary yeah, as grow. hell like i was flipping out yesterday like full on tears like i don't you know i don't like to hold anything <laughs> yeah. back i'm yeah. full disclosure by all means and, and, and you know and that's just being a human and mm -hmm. so i want other women to know that it's okay to yeah. feel scary or unsure or like you know what I mean? whatever that might be and yeah. i want to give them that safe haven so the women who are action takers they're hungry and are looking for someone to be in their corner to like rah rah them. I mm -hmm. think that's the woman that I attract a lot yeah. mm -hmm. and the woman that I love to help because like if you're gonna go somewhere and you have the motivation, you yeah. just need someone to like Guide you know you. be at your back. Yeah. Like, oh my God, like the sky's the limit. And well, it's yeah. so yeah. exciting. Yeah, yeah, well, when you cool. talk about sports, it's like literally, can you imagine playing sports without a coach sitting there? Can you right. imagine being a boxer exactly. and you don't have your coach in your corner kind of yeah. taking the literal approach to the saying? But yeah, yeah, it's like business is no different. Business is absolutely no different. And yep. and it's funny because my wife is, um, she runs all the sales for a marketing company. And I actually understand what you're saying because innately between her and I, she handles all of also the kids from like a making sure that the house actually works. And yeah, right. she, I help, but it's, on what she tells me to do. Right. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. you're right. It's a whole oh, different. Yeah. My husband's sitting in the next room. He's like totally like looking at me going, uh huh. It's a whole different set of problems. <laughs> it's a whole different set of responsibilities. So the yep. fact of the matter that you kind of know both roles and you understand the coach role, like what you're saying, but you also understand the mom role, which is inevitable. It doesn't matter if the if if the dad wears more of that that function it doesn't matter the mom still is the mom it doesn't yeah. change anything at all yeah so i yeah. i get what you're saying in terms of like 
life is a certain way and being an entrepreneur is hard enough as it is and I, adding that definitely. aspect. Yeah. And you guys, yeah. I, I, I genuinely feel that as, as a overall, that you are better suited to handle lots of things simultaneously <laughs> than I am. <laughs> then you are. Yeah. Well, I'm definitely going to say 100% am compared to like my husband, but you know, I'm not going to say that in your case. If you want to say that, we by all means, yeah, right. But for my husband, like, you know, it's like, get out of the goddamn way. Like, yeah. I'm taking over. No, no, I get it. I yeah. Get it. Yeah. All you, well, so a little life lesson I learned you only have to screw up all the laundry one time. <laughs> Right? You only have to shrink all the Lululemons one time. Oh, oh my God. God. No, you did not. A hundred bucks a pop. There I, we go. <laughs> I didn't. Definitely going to be making some extra money on the side to replace those bad yeah, boys. Seriously. Well, yeah. yeah. Um, so then, okay, great. So then it makes, I kind of get the idea of like the, the type of person that would be interested in, you know, working with you. Now, um, what are kind of the areas that you try and focus on with them? Where do no, they really start? at the end of the day. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I was just gonna say, where do you start, and then, and then how do you focus on those areas? Yeah. Yeah, you know, really, what I usually end up doing when I was working with my multi-million dollar clients and I was doing the consulting, no matter if they were like a small company, whether they're doing like you know, hundred thousand, two hundred fifty thousand, or ten million or higher, they usually all seem to have like the same problems or issues, no matter how many you know uh, team members are on staff, which is really, really interesting. Yeah. And a lot of the cases, it was just the organization of the brand itself mm -hmm. and making sure there's clarity across all social media, all social platforms. And then understanding that, you know, just making the sale is not the end of what your job is. Right as a product seller or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like, you need to like make the sale and then like that representation or that connection that that consumer has with you, it's like how long it takes to get to you. Like there is an engagement there. And then when they get the box, how do they perceive it? How do sure. they feel when they get it, when they open it up and then actually using the product? And then like, is there proper instructions or are you doing a customer retention strategy and moving them somewhere else so you can retain obviously their email or you capture them? Yeah, yeah. So you can continue to obviously, you know, market to them later on, depending on which, you know, distribution channel that you're selling on. But a lot of them just stop at, I'm making a product and I'm selling it. Even if they're doing 10 million or 15 million, it's really interesting. They all mm. seem to kind of go there. Yeah. So every time I come in, I'm just like, okay, what the hell it is that are you guys doing? What are your best sellers? Because you have to make sure that we're getting rid of the dead weight. A lot of times, yeah, okay. a lot of companies hang on to a lot of dead weight. And it's just like, why are we like, you're bleeding money. Right. Yeah. <laughs> if it ain't selling, don't whatever. Sure. Or they're like, they'll put like ads on something that's not selling because they want it to sell. Right. I'm and like, dude, spend even no, more. like put the ads on where you're that's making Really good point. Because, yeah. Oh my God, it's so gonna help you. Like, like you need the cash flow. Yeah, that's you know such a I mean? brilliant point, yeah. though. That's a very, very good point, and I see that mistake. Yeah, because like I'm trying to look at it through the 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 scope of an Amazon seller, but I, you see that with businesses all the time. It yeah. doesn't. It's not just on retail or e-commerce or anything like that. That's a common business mistake, and that's a. I, I'm only I'm highlighting it because I don't want it to get lost in the shuffle of everything we're talking about because that's such a gem. So I just want to make sure that that's like, yeah. think about that for a second. Yeah. Smart. Put your money yeah. where your money's Let making you money. In. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. The low hanging fruit, I guess you could say for the yeah. most part. So like, you know, we kind of like deal with that and then it's like, okay, like really look at your branding and your messaging, your positioning. And then like, once we do all that, like what I love to do is I like to leverage what companies already have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like there's a million different shiny object strategies and there's a million people who know way more than me when it comes to like chat bots and moving things and whatever. And that's all great and dandy. Like we all should be experts in our own space. And yeah. I try not to get too broad. I try to just like focus on like what I'm really good at, like my full zone of genius. Right. Mm -hmm. And so leveraging what a company already has, which is we've already talked about a few things like go where the money is, get rid of the dead weight and whatnot, making sure that we have consistency across all platforms, making sure that we're communicating to the consumer in a better way, that we understand that the sale doesn't end at the purchase, the sale ends after they use the day, like all the process yeah. into using it, creating that customer retention strategy so we can get that feedback loop. Yeah. What do we do better, blah, blah, blah. But then outside of that, like my bread and butter, the thing that I love the most is there's two different strategies that I use and I found over a half million dollars of free found money time and time and time and time again for all my clients, which is bundling strategy because we're okay. the only ones that created a bundling software that the only one existed until Amazon, of course. Did it themselves, you know, yeah. Over yeah. <laughs> yeah. Themselves. Gotta love when they Our do that. Our tool is still a little bit more <laughs> robust, but 
like they should like really at the end of the day like it, yeah. it's you're literally leaving money on the table if you're not providing different variation of, um variation of options right. of your particular product lines to your mm. consumers because people you have seven seconds to yeah. capture people and expecting them to add like three or four to a cart. Yeah, some people do that. But if you just say, hey, here's two, here's three, or here's product A and product B, right. and they're on a parent child listing, and you can see that they, I have these three or four different options. Like the consumer, all they have to do is hit the damn button yeah. like, once to click it and then hit it, add to cart. Like yeah. two steps. And you honestly, I mean? like, it's just like, Oh, and we experience this all the time here in Florida because we have the worst red lights in the world. But sometimes all you have is those couple seconds. You might only, yeah. you're, you're like on Amazon until the light goes green. So the fat, the simple <laughs> act, it's true, right? <laughs> Unfortunately with, with us here in Florida, let's be totally honest, uh, the, the, the light closest to my house, that's yeah. about a seven minute light. Yeah. Seven minutes. That's the that, worst one in, in, in the water. world. In, yeah. in the uh, world. Yeah. Like I, no, I grew I, up I in was Los one Angeles. In Virginia that was I was at for twelve minutes. Oh, that's horrible. So. But no, it's true because you don't have forever to capture attention. You only have that small amount of time. So yeah. Yeah. So you know, like so that's like one of them. Like leveraging what you already have, which is just reusing the products and inventory that you already have. Provide more options mm -hmm. to the consumers that are already there, and then at the end of the day, you start finding like, oh crap. Well, product A and product B, or product A, A and B, mm -hmm. sell like crazy. Well, if people love that with proven data, with money in my bank to prove it, we're not guessing. Now I can make it into like a gift with a pretty yeah. box and then a pretty insert oh, where you're awesome. not spending a single penny outside of like the guessing realm. You're doing it on data. So that's like kind of like number one. And then Smart. number okay. two is the visual representation a company uses online. Like that, that is like for me, like all I really care about more than anything. I even pitched TED Talks to talk about the science yeah. behind graphics. <laughs> I'm super, super excited to bring the information to online sellers because you can't touch, feel, smell, try on the products. Right. We all know that. It's not like this is rocket science, but a lot of the times you just forget it. Yeah. You know what I mean sense. at the end of the day? Well, and it sounds so, like, like we need to talk a lot more about that, but am I correct in understanding? Cause it seems like everything you've talked about so far are majorly marketing based. Is that, is that kind of your wheelhouse or do you also get into some of the business organization operations side or is it mainly marketing? Because I let's it's face it, Amazon a is a marketing business. Yep. Yeah. 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 It's a little, definitely a little bit of both, but it also depends on the company. Like yeah. Everyone comes from a different perspective, and you're like you're kind of you have to just do everything based on the people that you have and what they have and what they're doing, what they're not doing, and obviously bring in because the accounting, the SOPs, like the organization, the company is like the most important aspect. And yeah. A lot of people who are online sellers are like, if I was going to bring in a VA, what would be the first person? And after like hiring and firing way too many people and <laughs> trying to sell myself and screwing up, like the number one person to bring into your business is an, is an executive assistant. Okay. Someone who's project management That's based so and funny. who knows SOPs. Look, Cause if you ain't organized, you can't bring on any more staff. Yeah. Right? You are like your shit's everywhere. You got files over here and files over there and you don't know what the hell's going on. You can't scale and grow in that type of like environment. Right. So if you can have someone who can allow you to be working on the business instead of mm -hmm. in the business and have that executive assistant working in the business, organizing it all for you and taking whatever ideas that you have and throwing it in your to-do list and organizing it all. And you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Then it's just like, I feel amazing because all that weight's taken off our shoulders. We can be in our zone of genius. We can create products. We can like, you know, do connections. We can do partnerships. We can do joint That's ventures awesome. and everything else along those lines. So the business is you know, starting to get operated on in a more of a systematic way. And then it's like, ooh, graphic designer, ooh, marketer. And yeah. then you can start bringing more people into your wheelhouse or whatever. This is um, But awesome. yeah, so that's, so you know, okay. it does do a little bit of both. Okay, so that makes sense. Now, but you mentioned, I think that the subject that I think would be great to deep dive a little bit more into, you mentioned something graphics related. You said it in a more brilliant way than I think I could ever <laughs> articulate. Yeah. So how did you? <laughs> but before before we go down that line, yeah. I just want to point out that we're start as we do it's this a commonality. Series, yeah, we are starting to see some some uh, trends. I guess success commonality. Yeah, success yeah. trends. So know your basics. Have when yeah. you're when you get to the point where you're like, I need to hire someone. Don't go hire. The lowest so, person yeah. on the organizational yeah. chart, Get but higher executive at the top to yeah. run your business for you. That makes Train sense. them, let them know you're going to be managing people. Yeah. And then you only have one or two people to manage yourself. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, so, yeah, yeah but I yeah, just we are seeing to, trends. You're, yeah, it's very true. We're very seeing true. trends of success. So um, pretty soon 
we won't need to do this anymore. We'll have what we need. <laughs> wow. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but there's uh, always information to be passed around, no matter what. And that's, no, yeah. and that's the thing about it. It's also it's funny because I'm sure you run into this all the time. Someone might have heard the same message a hundred times, but they needed to hear it from you, or they needed to yeah. hear it from someone in a very exact way in order for it to. Or they weren't ready. Or they weren't ready. And for now it. they that's are right. ready. Yeah, that's right. Right. Yeah, because like we get bombarded with information all the time, but if we're not ready, then yeah. it's just or not looking, not even there. Yeah, not That's registered. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. So you articulated this graphics point much better than I could even yeah. try. What? It, how did you? I think have, she said like pictures make you know wow. stuff better. <laughs> Yep, that's basically it. Yeah, in good. a nutshell, that's for a four-year-old. <laughs> that is how a third grader would say it. That's Thumb right. It yeah. down is definitely good. But yeah, so like the visual representation is basically what I like to sort of describe it as because when we say graphics, a lot of times people can either pigeonhole that into one avenue or the other. And when I say visual representation, that includes proper professional photography, lifestyle images of your product in use of your product, okay. as well as infographics okay which is like ridiculously important um so like i actually provide a drag and drop template 175 templates for 18 top selling categories of of templates so wow. it's productinfographic.com there's a little bit of training in there to explain the who what where how why when, and why it's so important and then you have access to like 650 different listings that give you some ideas and then wow. 175 drag and drop templates to make it like Super fast and super easy. You're not paying nine hundred dollars for a graphic designer to do like five images for you. That's awesome. Um, well, that, so, that kind yeah. of so, like, this is like thing I love more than anything. Yeah, yeah. That kind of put put a bomb on us. Like you just handled the a huge problem for a huge amount of people, and that's that they don't know how to use a computer to create these things. They don't they don't know about Fiverr, and maybe they do, but they had a bad experience and they don't want to use it. Right. So you just basically handled. One of the biggest problems on definitely Amazon listings, and that's photography, because it's the first thing that people see. Yeah, you know, and you yes. and it's like, like the only thing they do. Yeah, and exactly. There's science behind that, like yeah. it's so, crazy. So it, explain some of the aspects of graphics, photography, uh, like you're saying, the science behind it. What are some fundamentals that someone really should know going into this game? Yeah, so really in a nut, like there's a whack load of crap. We're definitely not going to, because it'll be it's yeah. super long. Yeah. Just, the, just what you need to know, the meat and potatoes is just look. Okay, 15 or 10 years ago, we had a 15 minute attention span. Think about that. 15 wow. freaking minutes, right? Like, oh my God. Now, seven freaking seconds. <laughs> yeah. Seven seconds. And so, you know, we all want it now. We yeah. want it, da, 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 da. we want it to be told. You know what I mean? Like we just don't have the energy or the effort. People are on their phones, on the toilet, on lunch. Like they're just like, you know what I mean? Like they get distracted yeah. like in like no time at all. We also know that 81% of people just skim through the written content that they see online. That includes blogs, huh. job postings. Like it doesn't matter what it is. You got 81% of people just yeah. yeah, but they will look at every single image mm. because we are a visual person. Like people, yeah. we're visual. Like that's yeah, we're how an we AV culture for sure. Yeah. yeah, and so you know we know that people remember ten percent of what they hear, twenty percent of what they read, but eighty percent of what they see. Wow. So if we take all that into consideration, and we know that we have one hundred fifty million people on the Amazon app, which we all know, if you get on there. All you see is the damn images. Yeah, yeah the true. bullet points, everything, they're all condensed. They're all hidden. So yeah. unless you really put the effort and the energy into like, open this up, let yeah. me read this. They ain't gonna do that. And Amazon's all about literally making you jump. It's like, here's another option, here's another yeah. option, here's right. another option, here's another option. You know what I mean? So like you have to do your due diligence to set yourself apart against your competition because Amazon at that distribution channel like eBay, they're all features and benefits. Okay. Where yeah. the website is a little bit different because people are going to your website because of your brand. It's or a little whatever bit more dedicated attention. Yeah. A little bit more dedicated attention. Yeah. But on Amazon, it's features and benefits. Like if I buy this bundle, this one has two extra items, but this one is, you know, two dollars cheaper. Okay. So are those two extra items like more important to me than the two dollars? Like mm. you're sitting here doing this like back and forth, back and forth. And mm. then you can get buyer a uh, decision fatigue, which yeah. is a pain yeah. in the ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I, we don't want people to have that. Yeah. So those like six, seven images are the most important piece of real estate, other than obviously your title. Okay. Your title, of course, is your ranking and like that's keyword. Like that's a whole nother thing that obviously needs to be there. But, but that's really, less again, a human today, nature point. Get them. That's more, that's, out, that's Amazon yeah. side, yeah. right? Yeah, now exactly. You, you touched so. on another point that 
that I feel is really important that we kind of take this up for a second because yeah. it's it's another trend that I'm seeing. Yeah. And that is too many variations can cause buyer fatigue. fatigue. Uh, yeah. So having too many options yeah. and and delivering the content in such a way that's like, I don't know what you want. So here's why everything. Don't, why don't, yeah, here's everything. Right. Why don't you figure it out? Whereas yeah. the marketing should be, this is what you want because right. it solves this problem. So that yeah. I, I just wanted to bring that up because that's another key point that I'm seeing uh, that we're hearing yeah. in from all of you professionals that we're talking with. It's just and, an, a, fu a fundamental. Yeah, it's and a fundamental. What's, what's more light on that? Because I'm sure you have a better understanding of yeah. that than we do. Tell me uh, in three-year-olds, like, don't <laughs> do too bad so you can do good. Yeah, clean up uh, after yourself. Oh, my God, I love it. Um, <laughs> right, really, at the end of the day, I what I love to try to get people to do is we're all shoppers. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, we're all buying from everywhere. And obviously, right now, a shit ton of us are buying from Amazon. Right. Like, obviously, pandemic, blah, blah, blah. You can't really leave your house. So that's why there was a 6% Increase for online shopping mm -hmm. yeah. for all of us yeah but the thing is is that you know when we're talking about buyer decision fatigue a lot of brand owners or product sellers forget to put themselves in the shopper's shoe sure. yep. and it's just like dumb it down yeah yep. just take yourself out of it and completely detach yourself and i want you to go when was the last time you just bought something online yeah right yesterday the day before what made you buy it mm -hmm. yeah and I want you to go and I want you to rate a freaking bullet points of what made you flip and buy the damn thing. Right, you know right. what I mean? Like we have to put ourselves in our consumer shoes. And that's again, not rocket science. I'm not the first person to say that, but we just get so busy a lot of times. Absolutely. Yeah. And that brings so, up. So you know, get back into that. Yeah. So there, there <laughs> this is just one after another. So there's another <laughs> fundamental and that is that uh, what, okay. So there, there's some history on this. What's happening is some people are writing and putting together their listings for the bot side for the Amazon. bots that are crawling yeah. their <clears throat> listing yeah, yeah for, for sure. google who is crawling their listing and you are losing the human aspect right. of convertibility of it yeah exactly so you're trying to get displayed there and and i've read this from amazon before it's like don't don't write it for us write right. it for the person that's viewing it now they're trying to figure out how to algorithmically make that perfect so that the human written speech is converted into the most relevant display. But there was a period of time where keyword stuffing was a oh, very yeah. workable solution. Yeah. yeah right. I, oh yeah. I did Nine it. Years ago. Yeah. I did it. <laughs> I did no, it in my, I'm the only one there. <laughs> yeah. I did it in my website where I, I put all of the keywords down at the bottom and made them the same color as the as background, the background color. Yeah. That, that was a, that was a method at one point, you know, in the nineties. But, um, yeah. So make sure you're writing your content that's selling your product to the person who is your ideal customer and not writing your writing your content and putting together your pictures and stuff that is for a computer looking for what you think they're looking for yeah, totally yeah so and you know what what ends up really helping with that which goes back to the graphic visuals because mm -hmm. we depending on what category and again we're talking about amazon obviously right now compared to websites where we have a crap ton of yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, pictures or whatever but if yeah. we just say mass majority of the uh most categories let's just say it's six to seven images is kind of like what you have to play with yeah and a lot of times those extra ones that get hidden they don't even get seen so let's just focus on the ones that actually get seen on the category that you're, you're in right now or whatever right. when you have to literally like dumb down the who, the what, the where, the when, the why, and the how of your yeah. product and describing it in a bullet point with like four flipping words, mm -hmm. <laughs> you very quickly and clearly are able to identify what information should actually be written into your bullets okay. for the yes. product. Yes. So if you kind of like take both of them and you like go back and forth, you're like, these are my bullets right now. What information my bullets should be in the visuals? And then once you have them in the visuals, you go, is the information that I'm explaining in the visuals through a visual representation also connecting to what's sure. you know, over here in the description of it. So you kind of have to like mirror them up, like compare them against each other for the most part. And, and really at the end of the day, you know, like there's a fine line between like putting obviously keywords in for the bots because you have to do that anyways to be found, but then yeah. making it human 
obviously, you know, for the most part. But we also know that 81% of people don't actually read the damn thing. That's right. right. So make sure you put all your damn tension into the visuals because yeah. people are visual, you know, learners and whatnot. And you have to think about, like, how are you able to tell a story with just a picture? And so, like, Burt's Bees, as a perfect example, does a really great job at that. So a lot of the times, like some of my training kind of shows the visual. So right here, I just have to verbally describe it. So hopefully you can sort of follow along. Mm -hmm. Can you dumb but it up for us? Show... <laughs> yes, <laughs> but they will show like a visual ad mm -hmm. and it's going to be a lip balm because, you know, Burt's Bees, lip yeah. balm, makeup, yeah. you know, whatever, hand solves or whatever. So let's just, this one's just a lip balm. And that lip balm has a specific flavor of what it's in it. And a lot of times you're going to see like bubble gum or whatever, and they're, they're writing it. Yeah. But for Burt's Bees, what they'll do is they'll actually have a cup of like hot cocoa or hot chocolate and it's pouring into the lip balm right. with like little leaves of mint kind of uh, floating okay. around I've it. I've seen this now. So yeah, I want that's you right. to tell me if you understand the flavoring Strawberry. of that lip balm. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's chocolate wow. mint. You know what I mean? And then the other chocolate ones mint. they had were that it was like coconut and something else. And like they used the half of a cracked coconut shell as like, um, like a parachute. Yeah. And then in the bottom of that was holding like a strawberry or something, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So yeah. now, you know what I mean? Like they use visuals to tell the story without written words. Right. Yeah. So, you know, you have to kind of like, depending on what your product is, like that just obviously does not work for everything. Sure. But you have to use visuals to tell the story because the thing is, is that I might, I, I'm Canadian. Right. So I say a lot of different words and they're like, yeah. what the hell are you saying? And I was going like, to say, yeah. You know, or I we spell like the word color with a U in it. In yep. the U.S., it's O-R. You know what I mean? So, like, sometimes we just, and it doesn't matter where you are in the world, we can say a word, but my interpretation of that word and your interpretation of that word can mean two different things, which is why a lot of, which is why people have such a hard time working with graphic designers and videographers and whatnot, because we use words to describe what it is that we want. Right. Yeah. And we're both understanding it in our own perspective, which doesn't match up. Right. Yeah. So you have to use visuals to be like, this is what I like. Here's a website that I like, or here's right. a picture that I like, or I like the way this video is done. And then when someone sees it, they're like, oh, there's no misunderstanding. Sure. Yeah. Right. So like when you really think about it, when you keep going down that rabbit hole of like, oh shit, this is really important. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't realize how much I communicate with a visual representation yeah, in life sense. or understanding. And then when you bring all that into your business and then you're able to take those six images and you want to have lifestyle images, of course, you want to have in-use images. If it's like, you know, water bottle, they're drinking it, you right. know, whatever it might be. But then you also have infographics of like perfect examples. If there's like a jacket online that's for sale, you know, my husband is super particular in the jackets that he buys, mm -hmm. but nine times out of 10, it's just like, here's a damn picture of a green jacket, the front and the back. And then here's the size of the chart. Right. Like, that's all great and dandy. But my husband needs to know, is there an inside pocket? Is there a hook? Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the infographic will be like arrow or like a zoom in like little ball where yeah, they yeah, yeah. highlight in a larger section. There is an inside pocket over right. here. Yeah. There is a hidden like hood inside a zipper over here. There's reflector bands on the elbows or whatever yeah. it might be. So you need to use the infographic style of explaining the features and the benefits, the pros and the cons, and you know, obviously what the end result's going to be, a call to action as yeah. well before the very last image, you wanna obviously convert them, call to action, get them to go, go to the buy button. Mm -hmm. So if you use those six images to go to the who, what, where, how, why, when, then, and with the visual you know, um, presentation, you'll have, I swear to God, you already have people hitting your listing. All you got to do is update your images and you're instantly going yeah. to have better conversion rates yeah. because you're not losing people through the cracks from misunderstanding. Yeah. So that's all what it, that it is. Or lack of and data. And or they get higher decision yeah. fatigue. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That's amazing. So then um, it's, kind of, it's kind of an obvious point to anyone who's really been in the space a lot, but it really is, it's funny when you break it down to some of these simplicity points. If you don't look at your listing from the perspective of I only get seven seconds or even if they're flying through yeah, a I've, set of listings, yeah. you really only get maybe half a second or yeah. less. You get very, very little time to really convert that person from, from the organic listing or from that page to your actual listing. So yeah. it's, it's good to kind of like step back and look at all these points and realize that you have to take the perspective of the person who's actually looking at it. Or you're, if you're wondering why your conversion is low, you probably have half of your answer right there. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. well, it's probably actually or more, more, more yeah. than that. Yeah. I, I yeah, know that absolutely. when I'm, when I'm scrolling through Amazon, I'm like, crap, 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 crap. 
Crap, crack, 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 crack. It crack, almost sounds crack, like crack. you says you're saying quack. Well, I know dumb. I heard that too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> am I saying quack? Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> crap, crap, crap with a p, with starting a with a p. c. Yeah. Anyhow, yeah, and then and then when I finally find come across a picture, another thing is, and and I know you're going to be like, yes, on this is not utilizing all of the available space to fill oh, your yes. product, <laughs> right? Yeah. So, and it condenses it, make it as big as freaking possible. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And and so when when I'm scrolling through the images, I basically am allowing these tiny icons to go by. I mean, they're pictures, but these tiny things. And when when you have a product that fills the entirety of the image, well, then I go, oh, what's that? More. I see color. I see. Yeah. You know, there's more distinction. Yeah. That's the differentiating factor that makes all the difference in the world. Exactly. And it's so simplistic. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. Yeah, well, it's, okay. So, and, and this is this is a question that I have for you because obviously this is a topic that we've been talking for maybe 45 minutes, right? And we could probably well, talk about this one. I know. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying yeah. is we could cover this one topic for hours, let alone any other topic having to do with marketing, organization, operations, whatever, right? Yeah. So, where, because we're, okay, so here's kind of, <laughs> like you mentioned, I should probably preface before we even hop on the podcast how we do this. So the way we do this mm -hmm. is basically we have uh, the section that goes to everyone, that anyone who's on YouTube, Public. Apple Podcast, anyone can find this content, right? But then what we do is we segment off the last like 10, 15 minutes and, and have that only for Managed by Stats subscribers. So- I know, I got one this morning. Yesterday, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Boom, that's awesome. Bye, girl. I love it. Um, yeah. So, so what we what we want to know because I kind of we're sort of wrapping on the YouTube, Apple Podcast, uh, the podcast side, right? So, one, where can they learn more about sort of some of the stuff we're going over here? You mentioned like a TED Talk. Um, if there's a link, send that over to us. We'll throw it in the description. Or if if we if it's best to send them over to your website. We'll just make sure that that's in the description. Where's the best place for someone to find you? We kind of got two, actually two questions on this. Yeah. Is you've got your uh, women entrepreneurs, where can they go? Mm -hmm. And then we've got the infographic side. Yeah. Where can all, all people go for that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, in all honesty, I'm literally rebranding everything right now. Yeah. So it will be all under the hidden rules expert .com, okay. But for the time being, until that gets sorted, you yeah. guys know how long these things take, yep. way longer than you anticipate. The infographics is productinfographic.com. Okay. Productinfographic.com. Super Perfect. simple. Okay. And that's you know, there. And then for the women's, it's the, um, the hidden rules network.com. Perfect. Good. Okay. Okay, good. And we'll, so you know. those are the two sort of like, things that I'm focusing on where we can help people in any aspect that they're that they're needing for the most part. And That's if perfect. you're a mother that lives in Cabo St. Lucas, <laughs> go to your Facebook group. That's right. <laughs> yes, yeah, my Cabo mommy's group. Like that thing's, oh, she's so amazing. That thing's been running for nine years and it's worth its weight in gold. That's oh awesome. my God, I love the women down there. It's yeah. amazing when you get a bunch of moms together, how supportive they are. Absolutely. I think these women in general are super, super supportive and um, engaging and helpful and whatnot. So it's, yeah. uh, well, and, it's really and, amazing when you get people together and it doesn't matter how much a husband or a father say, thinks they understand yeah. mommies really understand what mommies actually go through because yeah. i don't wake up in the middle of the night when you know ryan wakes up my wife right. and i try and get him to come snuggle with me it just ain't happening in yeah. the middle of the night he's like i only want mom so f off okay yeah. thanks um, actually yep gwendolyn yeah. now sleeps with me yeah, well, okay, but my daughter's three and she sleeps with me yeah, too. But okay. I mean, like a, a, a an actual who needs a mom, yeah, like yeah, a one year yeah, old, yeah. that just ain't happening. Yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, <laughs> but what I mean is that yeah, there's there is definitely a level of understanding that it doesn't cross that gender line. It really just doesn't. So I understand yeah. the need yeah. of what you're talking about with that women specific yeah. groups. But um, very cool. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna end this part of the podcast. Like, we'll do our little, yeah. Bell Give us icon. a five star review on Amazon. Five Just kidding, up. Apple. Um, because you know, Amazon doesn't let that happen, yeah. but hey, Apple hasn't locked that down quite yet. So if you have anything <laughs> less than a five star review, don't leave it. We're actually only, you're just change your mind. Change yeah. your mind, go with five star. If it's and four, you'd be crazy not to do five star. Like, yeah. give me a break. That's and right. if you like, can figure yes. out how to do six yeah. star. We're 11 star kind of people here, yeah, people. That's right. So yeah, yeah. give us five stars, all right? It's the minimum. <laughs> we only give 110%. Over deliver. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Every time. 
Um, perfect. So with that, um, for everyone on podcast side, YouTube side, sayonara. Thank you so much. Cheerio. If you're not a Managed by Stats subscriber, you're not going to get this next you part. Should be. Yeah, yeah, you should be. Hop yeah. on over. Get it done. Yep. We'll see you on the other side. Yeah.